What's up guys, it's Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here on Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. And today, I'm going to show you how to get your very own Meriwether lifted off-road Jeep that you can keep as your own personal car online. So, what you're going to need to do is be level 24 or have somebody on your friends list that is level 24 that has a mission called a Titan of a Job. You get it from Lester. So, once you're inside the mission, you are going to have to go find your car. Now, I highly recommend that you don't find your car in the same way that we found my car, which is falling face first on your motherfucking face. <laughs> that just, that is just too much. Look at that blood splatter. That is actually amazing. So, what you're going to do is drive to the airport. And once you're at the airport, you're going to watch all of your friends ram the gate to try to get in here. And you're going to jump over the gate and look like a boss at the same time. Now, this mission is actually pretty decently easy. And you should have a sniper rifle since you're going to be level 24 anyway. So what you're going to do is come over here on this runway and just pull out your sniper rifle. And you're just going to bang out these guys. There's probably going to be like 10 to 20 of them in there. They respawn randomly. So don't run in there because a few of my friends actually had them spawn right in front of their face. And that is not a good thing. <laughs> so after you snipe all them out. You're gonna have to move this Mack truck. Now, I think this is actually common sense, but I don't want you guys going in here and failing this mission because you're gonna have to pass this mission to keep this truck. So, make sure you get in the Mack truck. It's a Mack truck! It's not the Mack car, it's a Mack truck. <laughs> so, once you move that out of the way, you're gonna have to escort the Titan to Sandy Shores Airfield. Now, if you let your friend fly a little bit longer while you're on the way, you will find a Meriwether lifted Jeep that is going to try to intercept you on the way to Sandy Shore. Now the easiest way to do this is to have a passenger just gun the driver out and then pull around to the side and then he's going to gun the other guy as he gets out to try to shoot us. And that is a very easily acquired Meriwether lifted Jeep. Now I'm not sure if you actually have to meet them all the way out at Sandy Shore for this mission to be over, but just to be safe, I did because I wanted to make sure that this car is saved for me because this is a car that you will not find driving around the streets and actually in single player there is only one mission you have a chance on to be able to get this Jeep so a lot of people have been looking forward to this and a lot of people have been asking me to do a guide on how to get a Meriwether lifted Jeep. Also don't run your friend over right before the mission is over. That is kind of fucked up. I didn't mean to do that but for passing this mission you're gonna get 10,000 motherfucking dollars and 1100 RP, which is pretty decent. Now, the good thing about that $10,000 is once we go back in the free room, make sure you go back in the free room right after this so you keep the car. And once you're back in the free room, what we're going to do is we're going to take that car back to our garage because if you take it to your garage, you will get a free tracker on the car and you won't have to pay for one at Los Santos Customs. But if you don't have a garage, you are going to have to go to Los Santos Customs and install a tracker. Now, once you're at Los Santos Customs, make sure that you buy insurance for your car. That way, if you do blow it up or something happens to it, you will be able to recover your car and you don't have to do the mission over again. But it's a good thing to do the mission over anyway if you get it in the job list because you do get $10,000 for it. And that is not shabby. So I hope you guys out there... Enjoy your Meriwether Jeeps and having a car on the road that not a lot of people have. And as you can see, it is 100% fully modifiable. And this thing is a beast going up mountains and off fruit. So make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Jay Morton After Kill. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. So go out there, do tighten up a job, and get your motherfucking Meriwether Jeep on. And I'm going to see you guys later.